God bless you, my precious brethren, worldwide. I am very thankful to the Lord for His keeping us in His word. Just, I want to read the scripture now. <clears throat> Luke 16.18 Whosoever putteth away his wife and marrieth another committeth adultery, and whosoever marrieth her that is put away from her husband committeth adultery. So I want to, I would like to speak on this uh, uh, subject, uh, Adulterers, Judges under William Branham message. Adulterers, Judges under William Branham's message. My dear, my precious brothers and sisters, we are living in a horrible day. The Lord has promised us that we are living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Noah's time. We know what is the Noah's time. They were giving in marriage and they are living uh, illegally with the other women outside of the wedlock. These are the things that are heavily going on. And I tell you, no one is left out in this matter. I don't want to speak that as I am a uh, holy man or anything. I have been experienced many things concerning the concerning this matter because this is very horrible sin. A man who live in adultery and claiming that he is the follower of the message of Brother Branham and Brother Lambert, he is a big liar. Uh, 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 unless we repent, I don't say a man can repent any kinds of sins he, he commits in his body. Any manners of sin, because the Bible says all manners of sin will be forgiven, but only the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost cannot be forgiven. We know very well that in the Bible how the prostitute women was given mercy and her sins are forgiven. Lord said, your sins are many, but it is forgiven. Of course, we, we, we believe that, you know, whatsoever sins we commit in this body, uh, God uh, will forgive us. But we, uh, we commit the, we are living in adultery, in unholy life and immorality and we are climbing to be a preachers and pastors, apostles and all those things. I tell you that is a deadly hypocrites and the deadly liars my friend because we cannot live in adultery at the same time we can serve the Lord. Yes, that is very, very uh, wrong and we should not do that. You know, today people are judges. They become a judges. They can give the judgment. They are giving the judgment and the same people are living in adultery. Another man's wife, they, they robbed somebody's wife. I, I can say robbed because they, uh, they cut off that woman from her husband and brought her into the house and living like a husband and wife. And the wife still committing adultery. These things are happening in, especially in Koraput, in Orissa district. There was a, there, there is a man. And, you know, he was a uh, follower of, he claimed that he is a follower of William Branham message. And this uh, district falls under, uh, falls in the Orissa states. So he was uh, so some, some years back, 30 years back, he was doing the evangelical work. He's going house to house. There he found one woman who ha has a husband, even still today. She has a husband. And uh, he, what he did, he took that woman and cut off their relationship with the husband and he brought her and uh, kept her in his house. She, she has a one daughter out of that wedlock, the, uh, the, uh, the, the husband, one whom she married. And uh, uh, the, this fellow, out of this fellow, three children are there. So, my dear brothers, what a horrible, horrible case it is. A man living under the uh, adultery, living in the adultery, and he's claiming to be a minister and the preacher, and he's open up the uh, things, you know, that such a way and he's judging the people, judging other f people's family and he become a judge. He become a judge my dear brothers and sisters. Oh my, this is a very horrible case I can tell you. You, you, you live in a holy life, you live in a moral life and, the, and then you uh, sit under the message, then you can teach or 
uh, preach, it is nothing. It is, it is, uh, it will be all right. But it is not that living in a immor like a hog, like a hog is these people are living uh, in the message of Brother Branham and claiming to be a message followers and living in a horrible, deadly sin and saying that we are the followers of Brother Branham, we are the followers of Brother Lambert. Oh my, this is very, very dangerous. Dangerous. If God of the heaven, if God of heaven can, uh, you, you know, the, brought the judgment upon Sodom and Gomorrah and upon the people of Noah's time and the same God, if today he is, we are serving, will he not bring the great judgment upon these kinds of people? Surely we are waiting for that. Surely God will going to judge them. God will prove who is his servant, who is his true servant, who is his not true servant. That is going to be, that the great showdown is going to take place. Yes, and I tell you today, these are the people unholy living their lives unholy and they point out to others and other people they say they speak against them i tell you my dear brothers and sisters this is a terrible sin this is a terrible immorality i can say and and you know these preachers one more thing i tell you there are set up groups there in uh, uh, in Andhra Pradesh and in Chhattisgarh and you know all these places you know there is a Chhattisgarh sportsman sportsman coach and you know that coach we already exposed the sportsmanship and coaches coach and all these things you know these people are talking about others but they are one or other way living in adultery. You know, this preacher's wife, they are exposing their belly. How can he be a pastor? You tell me, how can he be a pastor? Because the Bible says, whosoever, Brother Branham's message is a direct message to the people. The word of God says, whosoever looketh unto the woman and lusteth after her, he is done already committed adultery. Of course, that is what we are to, today standing for the message of Brother Branham. And Brother Branham strongly attributed several words about that. A man can be a sincere and he look at the look looks at the woman who exposes her belly, who exposes her breast, and you pastors have no backbone. You pastors have no backbone and still you are preaching, thinking that you are a great man, great shepherd, you are nothing, you are you are dirty filthy hog in the under the message of Brother Branham and Brother Lammer. Listen carefully. People around the world, even especially in India, these things are horribly going on. Beware of them. Get away from them. Walk away from these people. You know, showing, exposing the belly. Huh? And that woman is an adamant woman. The wife of that pastor is an adamant and she speaks about others. She thinks she's holy. She thinks before the marriage, they they enjoyed in the lodges. And that, that marriage could not be performed by a man. You know, that I don't want to tell that man's name. But however... These people are living in a hog and showing and uh, and showing others, you know, their, their uh, you know, others, you know, they're fingering to them. They speak about others. They speak about the people who live, who believe the message of Brother Branham, who believe the message of Brother Lambert, who live a holy life, whose wives are covered their bellies, whose wives are covered their breast. And these are the judges, you know, they are the adulterers living under this message. They speak against the people who are truly follow the message of Brother Lambert and Brother Branham. And I, I am very happy they, uh, they, they may not have pastor, they may not have ministers, but they have the pastor, Lord Jesus Christ. They are directly come under the pastorship of Lord Jesus because they fed up by seeing all these preachers are one by one falling in the adultery. Their confidence is gone. Oh yes, their confidence is gone because they seen they are not a fool fools. They seen the how these preachers are falling in adultery. Oh, oh yes, these preachers are living in the adultery. Oh yes, and their confidence is broken. Therefore, they flee away from these pastors and from the churches. No problem. God will take them into rapture. This is my challenge. Without the pastor, without the apostle, without the evangelist, anyone can go in the 
uh, go in the rapture. Anyone can receive the token if they are faithfully follow the message of Brother Branham and Brother Lambert. There is nothing as such. You should come under the unholy, filthy, hog kinds of pastors and ministers. These are the pastors and ministers. Unholy, filthy, hogs, my dear friends. And I tell you, I support the message of Brother Lambert. He never said that. He told, he told in his message, show me one pastor who received this revelation. Show me one evangelist who received this revelation. Show me one apostle who received this uh, uh, revelation. None of them. Because they none of them have the crystal. Only one man had the crystal. That is the, He is none other than Brother Robert Lee Lambert. No one had the crystal. We need to come Come to come near to that crystal. My God, I am I am really rejuvenated here. That crystal can only filter the messages of Brother Branham and give uh, and and give to us. That, uh, concerning the crystal, Brother Branham spoke about that. That crystal can catch the uh, bodies here, vices. Uh, that the same crystal God has give, uh, God has given unto us today. That crystal is that crystal is none other than Brother. Labert's ministry. And I am thankful to that God. These are the group of people today gathering. These are the group of people gathering and judging to the others. Judging anyone they find and they think they are holy. Uh, they are thinking that, that they are holy. No holy. They are fully uncovered. They are fully exposed. Oh yes, sir. we know their wives. We know they married before the marriage. They fell in a fornication. There are pastors. They claim their are believing Brother Lambert's message. Oh yes, two, three pastors are one place in Andhra Pradesh. They are, they are claiming that they are believing in Brother Branham's Brother Lamb. But what they did before the marriage, they took that same woman to the lodges. They fell in the fornication. Some have the bill, uh, you know, some pregnated and they, 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 so many things are there. It is a truth. Everybody knows and they are kicked out from the churches. You know, they kick it out from, from some kinds of ministry and today they are, they are thinking that they are the holy people it is absolutely wrong if God of the heaven uh, had, had brought the judgment upon the nations like Sodom and Gomorrah and the Noah's time worldwide judgment fall the same God will do the same thing in this end time so be careful if if you are really living unholy, if your heart is convicted that you are not right, you cannot correct your wife, your backbone is not right, and you can say that you are a minister, you speak to other people. You speak other minister, his wife fallen in adultery, his wife fallen in this, that minister. Why do you want to do that? Though anybody fallen in adultery or fornication and anything, okay, we, we, we don't know whether they are or not, they may be living in a right life. Who are you? But still, you are living the life of the hog. You are a hog, number one hog. You cannot be corrected, friend. Uh, you don't know the message of Brother Branham. You don't know the message of Brother Lambert. You don't know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing. You are simply uh, firing the gun in the air and bullets are wasted. Nothing. You are, you are churches. Really, you are not preparing your churches for the token. And, and I tell you, before I'm closing. I'm going to play the quotes and the audio of Brother Banham and Brother Lambert so that you may hear very clearly. God bless you, my precious brothers and you going to hear this uh, after hearing, be careful. Don't be partaker of this kind. Don't sit under this ministry. Don't sit under. You know, before I'm closing, one more thing I tell you, Brother Lambert said, don't have any confidence upon any preachers. No. Because preacher is a human being. You cannot see the preacher and his life and you cannot be perfected. No. You see the message, directly message of Brother Branham and Brother Lambert and you prepare. God will help you because the divine revelation is not come by any pastor, any evangelist, any apostle, or oh yes, any teacher, any uh, anyone, the divine revelation comes by Lord Himself. So don't trust any preachers. Brother Lambert said, "If you see the if you see your death, you see the see these preachers." He said, "Because the preachers are death today." I tell you, it is thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Spirit. The preachers are death. You cannot be perfected under these kinds of preachers. These kinds of preachers are horrible. 
their life make you to stumble the sorry their life will make you to away from the message you will run away from the message it will be a big question to you how can i sit under this ministry whose wife whose pastor's wife we exposing the belly Huh? Whose pastors were exposing the belly, and another fellow, uh, you know, pickpocketing in, in the place and picking the pockets and all kinds of nonsense. Thief. Every business is going on. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the YouTube to open your eyes. Please open your eyes and recognize these kinds of immorality, unholiness, and uh, adultery. God bless you. Right there, I won't call the name. She got she got a daughter, and the daughter's about 26 years old. Her husband, she left him down in Milltown and run away and married a Catholic man. And now they said he has to be out of the church. So they paid so much money to come back and change her back to a virgin again and marry her back to this man. Tommy Rock! Change her back to a virgin. She's married in the sight of God and living in adultery. Amen. Exactly right. At thus saith the Lord too. That's true. And they have all the demonstrations that Christianity produces. But they can't be Christian. Amen. Watch their lives, what they do. The people right there even take living with other women, adultery, as a religion. And them same people do signs and wonders. The man living in adultery. The woman that's not living right. The boy and girls that's not living right. They come to the courts and there, through the preaching of the Word, it separates them. The Holy Spirit says, that's wrong. Don't do that. Separation. Then, through that, they're washed by the waters of the Word. Hearing the Word, they receive intellectual faith. Intellectual faith. Now that's just about as far as half the church gets or more. Intellectual faith. Oh yeah, I believe that. But wait, there's more to it yet before redemption is completed. Have to go through something else. Pastors who let them people come in and take deacons and everything else in jobs like that with two or three living wives. Yes, and aren't you ashamed, minister? Aren't you ashamed of those things and take them members in there when they're living in adultery and smoking cigarettes and doing all and never even mention it from the platform? Shame on you. Uh, I, I pray for you, brother. See, she's got a living husband, so no man can marry her. Care what she does and who she is. She's got a living husband. There's no grounds for her at all. But it's not for him. It causes her, not him. Get it? You have to make the word run in continuity. See? Nothing saying he couldn't, but she can't. See? Causes her, not him. That's exactly what the Bible says. Causes her. It is not stated against him to remarry, but her. Why? Christ in the type. Notice, it is stated that he cannot remarry only a virgin. He can remarry. He can, he can remarry again if it's a virgin, but he can't marry somebody else's wife. No, indeed. He. And if he does marry a divorced woman, he is living in adultery. I don't care who he is. The Bible said, Whosoever marrieth her that is put away liveth in adultery. There you are. Not no divorces. You say, I don't wear them things, lady, or Brother Brandon. I don't wear them little short things. Look how you do wear them. Women going down the street with these little old sexy looking clothes on. You know what you're going to do? You're going to answer at the day of judgment for committing adultery. The Bible said, Whosoever looketh up on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already. What if you dress yourself like that? You might be as pure as a lily to your husband. But if that sinner looks upon you to lust after you when he answers for adultery, you are the guilty one who made him do it. We see the sodomite spirit 
women on the streets, in the churches, dressing immorally, wearing all kinds of filthy, immoral dress clothes to tempt the man on the streets, evil spirits on them that don't know it, fine women sending their souls to hell and will have to answer the day of judgment for committing adultery. Though she be as pure as a lily physically, but she's thought herself before man whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. And the woman not knowing and her dressing like that and a man looking at her, she'll have to answer for committing adultery for she permitted herself to be dressed like that and set before man to tempt him. Hey, let me tell you something, sister. You might be as pure as a lily to your husband or your boyfriend. But in the day of the judgment, you're going to answer for committing adultery. Jesus said, whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already. If that sinner looked upon you and she had to answer the day of judgment, you presented yourself to him. Amen. Suit yourself. Amen. What would a godly woman want to dress like that for? Then you claim to have the Holy Ghost because you spoke in tongues and run up down the floor. That, oh, I've seen heathens do that. Hot and tots. Yes. The Holy Ghost is purity, holy, undefiled. Yeah. I tell you, brother, uh, you, you can take you can take some dead rabbits now. Yeah. Seven church eight missing helicopter. Yeah. So that in the next they won't even serve. Yeah. Amen. 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 And they ran the one Oh, oh, one time I got a little excited. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it died out. Yeah. 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 Well, brother, when that great white eagle reached out, yeah. 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 Revelation 10, 7. Jesus' name, Jesus' servant. Them demons are set right there. Glory to God, they something down underneath that field.